Okay, so uh, recently uh, Tucker was fired from Fox News. Apparently this happened on Friday, but everyone found out about it on Monday if you were following social media like Facebook and YouTube. And I say that's a good thing. And I'm pretty sure Tucker would also feel that, that that's a good thing because now he's free to do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to be beholden to the puppet masters. Now, he did sign, uh, I believe, a non-disclosure agreement, and I believe that he can't talk. Uh, he cannot talk crap about the show for about one year or probably a couple more years. But um, anyways, I'm glad that uh, Tucker is free from those uh, uh, from those masters, and um, hopefully he'll start something else, and um, he'll have more freedom to do whatever he wants. And I'm not going to focus uh, too much uh, on that issue. So many other bloggers have already focused on the reasons why he got fired. Uh, I want to focus on the so-called so-called right wingers who are basically a minority fringe. They are, or um, uh, like there are people who are so loud and so vocal. This fringe minority. They are a fringe minority within the right wing. And they, they are such purists, and it, it's honestly getting tired. It's getting tiresome. Uh, I myself was of that mindset for like a, a long time when I was in my 20s, when I was less mature than I am now. And so uh, right now it just gets tiring uh, hearing all these uh, so-called right-wingers, uh, all these uh, uh, fringe minorities within the right wing, Talking about Tucker Carlson not being our guy, okay? What do you mean he's not our guy? Oh, he's not doing what we want him to do, therefore he's not our guy. That's not an argument for anything. He, yes, uh, Tucker uh, is a normie. He's a conservative normie, but I would not even consider him to be just some plain old normie. He, I would say he's more of a right-wing normie. So he's not fully with us. He's not fully based like we are. But because he's not 100% pure base, therefore, he's not one of us. He works for the alphabet agencies. Like, like none of that really matters. Okay, my question to this fringe minority, like, what have you done to support uh, any right-wing movements? Like, have you uh, created, created a YouTube channel, right? <laughs> have you, uh, like, what have you done? Have you written any books? Look at your life, right? And then look at Tucker Carlson, right? Tucker Carlson actually has a family. Tucker Carlson actually has uh, to take care of his wife and kids. So obviously, being a mainstream journalist, he cannot really say certain things. Like, he's limited. He has to protect his family, too. And simultaneously, he has to put food on the table. And, like, what is it about Tucker that not makes him our guy? He exposes the uh, rainbow... Uh, clowns he exposes the uh, the, uh, the rainbow flag people he exposes all those nasty uh, people these clowns who want to read creepy stories to our kids he exposes those people uh, he talks about the border issue and he also mentioned replacement theory but some fringe minority in the right wing uh, will say oh like uh, he threw us under the bus he threw the european people under the bus why? Because uh, he's a normie who's not purely based like you. Okay, he's not based like me either. So what? I don't make a big fuss about it. Okay, I just, I'm just happy that we had what we had. Okay, <laughs> and that was enough. And there's also a reason why. You know, he has to be careful what he says and who he talks to. And he's still somewhat of a normie, and that's okay. Tucker has done so much more than, than you have anyway. Okay, he mentioned the rainbow flag people trying to destroy our society and our children. He mentions how uh, the out of control border situation will create the so-called uh, the the re replacement. He mentioned that, and um, he mentioned uh, the the, the uh, J six situation uh, in, at the Capitol. He he's basically covered a lot of things. His geopolitics, his geopolitics are literally what a lot of us on the far right agree with, right? He called out the lies about Ukraine. 
a lot of us on the far right actually agree, yes, uh, that the whole Ukraine situation is bad, it's wrong. And some on the right wing have remained neutral, kind of they don't trust either side or whatever. That's fine, too. But Tucker called out the whole geopolitical situation, not just in Ukraine, Syria, Afghanistan, not a single like not a single mainstream reporter has been calling out our geopolitical adventurism overseas. Tucker has. And that's a major risk. What he did. What he did was a major risk. Like, he could have been fired before. He could have been fired for all that stuff that I listed. Everything that I listed, he could have been fired for all that. But no, he does not name uh, a couple of hats, and therefore and, and therefore, he's not he's not based like we are. He's not pure. <sighs> like, it, it's time for a lot of you guys to grow up. Like, it, this is childish mentality. I see people in their 30s and 40s still with this childish 20-year-old mentality of how you got to be exactly like me or else you, or else you're an agent of some sort of three-letter organization out there like this one this one flat earther uh, says that like uh, basically anyone who claims to be in outer space is a freemason of some sort seriously this flat earther literally believes that anyone who claims to be in outer space is a freemason including yuri gagarin the soviet astronaut or cosmonaut and Despite the fact that the Soviet Union did not really have Freemasonry because that was illegal. <laughs> but according to him, everyone who, who made the claim of flying to outer space is a member of, the, of some kind of Freemasonic Lodge. And that's how a lot of you um, uh, um, my French minorities inside the right wing, that's how you guys act whenever you try to uh, attacked Tucker Carlson by saying, oh, like th this guy's not not our guy. He's a traitor, a traitor to what? How did he, he threw he threw you under the bus because he says he's not a racist. OK, he's not based like you. OK, he's not based like any of us. OK, but that's the best that we get. OK, we should be happy that we had that for a while. We should be happy that Tucker Carlson opened the eyes of a lot of these weird normies out there and actually actually if it was for tucker uh, there would would not be this there would not be this opposition to like to transgenderism rainbow colored people to the lies about ukraine there would not be this opposition to all of this if it wasn't for tucker carlson <laughs> so uh but because he does not name a certain group of people that shall not be named he is definitely not one of us right because he doesn't name that certain group of people News flash for you. News flash: the ADL is happy Tucker, uh, Tucker got fired. The ADL is rejoicing. Uh, look at their Twitter posts. The ADL has stated that they're so glad that Tucker is gone because he's promoting anti-Semitism. Okay, but but wait a minute. I thought that the, that the group that shall not be named uh, is controlling Tucker. Well, but wait a minute. But but they're accusing him of anti-Semitism. Oh, wow. Abby Grossberg. She's literally suing Fox News and also claiming that Tucker Carlson is spreading anti-Semitic information out there, anti-Semitic propaganda. It doesn't have to be true, right? Yes, Tucker, like he never actually spread that type of information. But already the ADL is happy that he's gone already a certain grossberg is suing fox news and accusing them of supporting anti-semitic uh comments because of tucker carlson apparently according to this grossberg person tucker spread the flames of anti-semitism like okay like uh but you guys claim that he's not one of you because like he's not naming the hats he doesn't have to name the hats he just has to uh, talk about the agenda. He has to, he has to expose the agenda, and that's enough. Nobody has to talk about any hats. Nobody has to mention any early early life folks here, and that doesn't matter. You you could be a normie who's super super not based, but you say you que you start questioning things, you start noticing things. The people who shall not be named will already come after you, and so. Like, it doesn't matter that Tucker is not 100% based. 
That doesn't matter. He did what he could with the resources that he had. He opened a lot of eyes and a lot of other people noticed because of him opening their eyes. And that's uh, all I got to say right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go to patreon.com slash altmonarchist if you really want to support the channel. God bless.